Okay, now it's time for the shit list. I come to you today full of disappointment. I purchased Alexa Chung's It on a whim in Barnes & Noble. Anytime you hear of me and Barnes & Noble while I'm in the city, you know that something bad is probably going to happen. Something bad happened. Now, I don't know how I didn't know what Alexa Chung's It had in it, because the book had been out for like a year, I think. I'm probably wrong. When I picked it up, I had seen it in Urban Outfitters, which... That's a pretty, pretty loaded statement, but one that is loaded with helpful hints that should have told me this book was not good. I did not look at these helpful hints. I bought this book because I was on a nonfiction kick, and it was in the nonfiction section, and it's Alexa Chung, and she's gorgeous, and I'm sure she had a couple of stories to tell. She had more than a couple of stories to tell. To give this book credit, it is absolutely beautiful. The entire book, gorgeous. Beautiful photos, cute drawings, random pages of patterns. You can see why this is in Urban Outfitters, yeah? I pretty much knew I was in for trouble when I read the first page and the first sentence was horses are my first love. It then goes on to describe how Alexa Chung got a pony. The most I could say about this book is that it's like Instagram with extended captions. There are a lot of really interesting photos and a lot of not so meaningful bullshit. After reading a great deal of this, because I will admit I did not finish it, but after reading a great deal of this I realized that it was kind of like Alexa Chung's journal, except kind of like Alexa Chung's journal she never expected to be published and never should have been. I mean, I don't need to know that underwear were the last thing that you upgraded when your wardrobe was flourishing when you hit your 20s. And now, some sections read aloud from Alexa Chung's It. Looking effortless takes a lot of effort. When I get new Converse, I dedicate some time at home to shoving mud on them so they don't look squeaky clean. For some reason, nothing makes me feel dorkier than new Converse. Blow dry your hair with a round brush. Then, at last minute, add a sprinkling of surf spray and water to it and massage the roots to get the I don't give a fuck bedhead. Line the inside of your eyes with a black pencil, then blink really hard a few times in a row. Clean away the excess liner under the eye, but keep enough so that it looks like you've lived in it for a day. Accompanied is this photo. Overall, I think that when we talk about this book, it's a beautiful decorative coffee table book, but it's not a book that anyone should buy with the intent of reading all the way through and gaining anything from it. Okay, maybe that was an unpopular opinion. I really don't think so, and I really hope not. But if you feel the same way, like and subscribe. If you read a book that was absolutely atrocious, please leave the title in the comments below. Alright, I will see you guys later.